Greetings world, we are anonymous. If you're buying into the mainstream media's narrative construct, today you are contemplating President Hillary. That's what the scientific polls say that's what all the media outlets on TV are saying. That's what every major newspaper, save for a few, are saying. You're asking yourself, how could it have come to this? The answer is twofold. Lying. The liberal media and even the conservative media, is very, very invested in the status quo. They can see a lot of the numbers, online response, rally size, primary turnout, and they are working overtime to discredit it as hard as they can. So they're lying. They're coordinating lying. And some are just stupid, and buying into experts who are telling self-serving lies. Your fellow Americans are dumb. The country, as anyone older than 12, can see is at a tipping point. People have been fed Hollywood stories and liberal fairy tales to the point where most people can't figure out which way is up. There are forbidden thoughts, some people are genetically smarter than others, that make us dumb. There are taboo realizations, most women with choices in men will choose the one that treats them a little bit badly, that make us dumb. There are whole areas of study, the social sciences, that make us dumb. There are nice sounding movements, feminism, that we accept because on the surface, they sound good. That makes us dumb. The media tells lies about everything from racial violence to what gays are mostly really like. After being bombarded with that for a couple of decades, that makes us dumb. And so on. If you have friends or family that are considering voting for Hillary, show them this video. The America of 2024, yes, she'll get two terms. Here is what actual science shows America will be like if Hillary wins. Pay attention and tell your friends. Make them watch this before it is too late. Hillary's vision has five major pillars, like a certain religion we could name. Dismantle the government. Take over child care. Neutralize religion. Sell off the United States to make trillions in profit for private entities. Erode moral values. The government take over, the Supreme Kangaroo Court. Hillary's first point of attack is the Constitution and the government of the United States. She will use her power as the chief executive to establish a beachhead and then seize the whole thing. It will start with the Supreme Court in her first year. Justice Thomas will retire. Then, surprisingly, Chief Justice Roberts no one saw that coming except those paying attention to his Obamacare decisions. Hillary has leverage. She will use it. Appointments, Obama and Anita Hill. These two will create an overpowering hyperliberal court. A kangaroo court. The next part begins shortly after the first in year two of their administration there will be litigation brought against the states accusing them of unfair district creation known as gerrymandering. It's true, some congressional districts look really weird like this. Oops that's a democratic district one they created. Oh well, anyway this legislation will be rammed through the Supreme Court and it'll win in a landis light. The result will be these computer-generated districts that ensure appropriate representation, meaning democratic advantage. In the 2018 election, the Democrats, having no other way to win, take over the House. Of course by this point your friend is probably past worried and into alarmed. She'll vote for someone other than a Democrat if one even runs. But at this point? Sorry it's too late. Two new Scottish rulings will strike down any need for identification of any kind at the voting booth and allow resident illegals to vote. Both of these will pass the court and the compliant House and embattled Senate will change the law. In the 2020 election, Hillary wins in a landis light. But now there are over 30 illegals in the country permanently and social services for them are increasing daily. It takes a village. Hillary's second point of attack actually begins after the 2018 midterms. With control of the House, the purse, and the court, she passes a battery of childcare laws that are designed to protect and raise children. 
these involve massive amounts of money for government child care centers, especially for minorities, maternity leave of eight months to cripple business that employ women, strengthening child abuse rules to include indoctrination, this is especially Orwellian. The result is going to be childbearing women out of the workforce and using their government provided daycare to shop, spend time with friends, and all the other things that our next crop of two young minority mothers will do instead of caring for their children themselves. But that's okay, they'll be taken care of by machines. The government child care centers will be populated with soft shell robotic friends that will teach their wards all about the right way to live the liberal way. If you think this is science fiction, click the link in the description they're building it now. The goal is to create a new generation of kids in a decade that have formed emotional attachment with the government. The rules against indoctrination will prevent homeschooling religious schooling, and other forms of freely educating your offspring. This second attack will ensure the future generations belong to Hillary. Better start praying to a new, new God. Hillary's third attack will be to replace the church with therapeutic deism. This is a mishmash of conventional religion and new age nonsense that is basically designed to make you feel good. Hillary will do this by promoting open hostility against church leaders. She will also use her organizations to both spend money against them and commit violence. The church will be driven underground. In order to replace it, she will need something else a set of virtual idols. These are already being worked on by DARPA, see Project Blue Beam, and the idea will be to create artificially intelligent entities that can appear in the sky overhead. In this case, though, you'll be able to pray to it with an app on your cell phone and it will actually answer with government-sponsored goodies. Children raised this way with prayer raves and using drugs in services will have no concept that real religion even exists. The actual religions will be strangled. This will start in 2020 with anti-church legislation and take full form in 2032. A religion that will not be crushed will be Islam. It will be the only remaining religious doctrine for the spiritually inclined. This is because it is ultimately nihilistic and destructive elements the state finds useful. The kleptocracy. Hillary's fourth prong of attack will begin with her landslide re-election in 2020. At this point she will address the now towering national debt. As the baby boomers age and her free medical care for all explodes the national debt, she will set up government holding companies that sell entitled American assets and use the money towards the national debt. This will work like a pawn broker, sell assets, such as the emergency reserve fuel supply, to a foreign country, China, and use the money, loaned at interest through the Fed, to national banks. The title holder, the pawn broker, will be the United Nations. The facilitators of these sales, NGOs, non-government organizations like the Federal Reserve, will reap trillions of dollars in profits. America will be sold for parts. The next iteration of the Clinton Foundation will get rich. America, of course, will more or less keep her land mass but other nations will deposit excess population creating sprawling favelas in American neighborhoods. These will be filled with their least desirable populations while the corporations favored by the government will soar above us. By 2036 all of America will be in hock for approximately $390.6 trillion. The State of Decay Hillary's fifth prong will come in the form of the wrecking ball of social deviancy applied to Western civilization. They will use the old ways socially acceptable homosexual pedophilia. They will indoctrinate children to be gender fluid and have no sense of ownership or privacy over their own bodies. TVs will show hardcore fetish pornography on public channels. New York has already opened masturbation booths. In this environment, all hope will be bled out of America. Marriages will become social contracts which will allow multiple partners, open relationships, and inanimate objects. 
history will be erased. This will begin in 2017 with Hillary's election. It will take until 2030 for this vision to be realized. There are 36 days left. Unless you want this future for you and your children, you better make sure everyone gets right on this election and votes Trump. We are anonymous.